Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruise Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! It's Bruise Day Tuesday time with Drez and Huck. And not just any Bruise Day Tuesday time, Halloween yeah, Tuesday time. I'd just like to, you know, state for the record that it's not Drez and Huck, it's King Neptune and Zorro. It is King Neptune and Zorro, that's right. We are doing a special Halloween edition of Bruise Day Tuesday, and we are in costume. Before uh, we get started, we'll see how Neptune is going to summon some foamy goodness from the sea. There you go. So, so it's King Neptune, you're not just a... Uh, you know, Poseidon, Poseidon, same sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, they're all kind of. Like, they're probably like one's Greek and one's. And Roman. isn't there like a name for? Is, isn't oh, there you just a generic? Expected that I did some research. No, you, no. You, you I just said, you know, my beard and hair looks kind of like Poseidon, <laughs> and I'd like to get a trident. So that's what I did. But I will do some research now while we drink. There you go. That sounds good. So it is Halloween. Um, so we wanted to, of course. Uh, dress accordingly and drink accordingly, which is why I just poured me uh, Captain Lawrence Brewing's Autumn Blaze Pumpkin Ale, malt beverage brewed with pumpkin and spice. It is five percent. It's got a nice little uh, little pumpkin logo with it kind of blazing there. It looks uh, looks pretty dang good. And what about you over there, Huck? All right, so I've got in the spirit the Stone Vengeful Spirit IPA. And it's a unfiltered India Pale Ale with juicy pineapple and mandarin orange. And the cool thing about this is, I don't know if you know anything about Stone, but they've always, all their stuff is are gargoyles. So all, very, all their cans are decorated with gargoyles. Very dark, very Halloween-esque. Right. And so this, this is actually the original one that they liked, the original Stone gargoyle. They've used a lot of Oh, that's ones, like the OG gargoyle? Yeah, this is the OG one. So this is, uh, they put it on this can. I think this is a new beer. I've never heard of it. I just saw it. You know how I am. See a new beer? Drink it. Amen to that. And, of course, if it fits into the theme, that's even better. Uh, even Icing better. on the cake. The, it was. The, 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 I was going to say cream cheese, cream cheese icing on the pumpkin You know, cream pie. cheese icing is the best. It is the best. Really? That's why I love carrot cake. That's yeah, my favorite. I, I might have to say, I'll give an honorable mention, though, to, like, lard frosting. You ever, like, I don't back think in a day, they used to just take I've lard, throw sugar in it until it was really, really sweet. And that's just, yeah. Your heart would slow down as you ate. As you ate it. What uh? What do they you put lard? Is it just on any cake or? Yeah, you just got to make it. You make the dressing out because it's already kind of the right consistency. So you make the, the frosting out of it by flavoring it with vanilla and then so, sugar. So I'm just saying, like you know, for me, cream cheese icing I always is synonymous with like carrot cake. Oh yeah, that's true. But I mean, is there a certain? No, you lard can flavor the lard like lemon or whatever flavor oh, the cake make is. Make lemon cake. Oh yeah, wow. so you can do. Like, so you, you could do pumpkin do that with, pumpkin yeah. lard. Part pumpkin lard, that'd be good. Pumpkin lard icing next ne- on the next Bruise Day Tuesday. On the, <laughs> no, it'll be a couple of weeks. Uh, but um, you have to make it. So Huck, you uh, so so you decided to be Poseidon, which is pretty badass. That's a good costume, man. I like it. Yeah, well, I actually, how much of it is like? Is I bought, any of it I bought home? It. It's no, all like I all in it. one package. No, no, no. I, I, you had everything separate these days. You do have to you get know, everything. separate. I love the Chinese. So we bought the. <laughs> I bought the. This is actually a toga, and with this blue thing on it. And I then, can see that. Yeah. Then I, these are like you know just wrist bracelets. Little I was want, I wanted something like a dragon, but I got a snake. That's cool. Go around my arm. And I'm going to get, I was looking on the internet before we started here, and they, I can make a, a crown. It needs to have, like, the same kind of points as well, this. It's, it's, you're cutting a little it. close now. I mean, yeah. geez. I was, but, you know, I'm going out later. So when I go oh, yeah. out later, I'll look even better. Well, I was going to actually, hey, I'm heading straight to Mockadoo's in Blacksburg after this. So I don't know, I don't know what your plans are, man. But if you want to come really, on out, we'll really, have some, you, you know, have some fun with Zorro. I like to go out in a college town on Halloween. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna say it like that. I'm not gonna say anything else. I well, just my, like to. my bear cast is seven to nine, and then after that, who knows what's gonna happen? Oh, so. I expect they might see us out somewhere, and I'll, you know, I can probably conjure up some more beer. Well, I, oh, there you go. Well, I will say one thing I'm a little nervous about though is I, you know, I've been Zorro in the past, but I upgraded it this year. Got a, a little bit better, you know, all around with the gloves and the shirt, cape, and all that jazz. And um, and I think the biggest thing was I upgraded the sword, mm-hmm. and I actually have. You might remember my sword from last year. Yeah, it was the gay was, blade. It was actually Zorro the gay blade, I think. It was actually a uh like one of the cheap plastic ones that had already been broken. So it was essentially <laughs> just a dagger. 
It was pretty bad. But this bad boy, <laughs> That's I'm worried. A real sword, I'm yeah. worried some places might not even let me in with this. Well, you I know, don't know. You know how they have the sign on some doors, you know, no guns. You, know, you just look for that. If it doesn't say no swords, I'd say you're good. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. If it, where's the, show me the sign that says no swords. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, somebody posted last Halloween, you know, I, oh, I got thrown out of that bar again. And I didn't even have a sword this year. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, you we, could be that person. We digress. Let's get back to the beer, man. All right, so you handed me Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. Do you know anything about Captain I Lawrence? I don't know anything. I just saw that beer on the pumpkin shelf, and I said, I know I haven't had that. Well, yet. let me look on the side of the bottle and see at least where they're from. Emsford, New York All right, is where these guys are out of. Emsford, New York. I've never heard of Captain Lawrence uh, before, but... Uh, I will say that this beer isn't too bad. Hell, I might as well go ahead and maybe I'll start to try and oh. talk about the beer. And Well, well let me, I've, I've got some information on Poseidon and Neptune. It appears that, that nobody really knows. They think that the Romans adopted the Greek god Poseidon and changed his name to Neptune. But the descriptions are different in, in key aspects. In fact, despite the fact they look the same. So yeah, I, I mean, I'd say they're pretty much, it's just like a lot of gods. The Romans had a version. And the exactly, Greeks had a version. exactly. There's there's Zeus, there's Ju- Jupiter, there's Poseidon, say, there's Neptune. I there's can say Pluto, Neptune. there's Hades. Neptune easier than Poseidon, so I think I'll just be Neptune. Neptune's cool. It's easier to say. I, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. They they started changing the planets, mm. you know, once I... Uh, they did. <laughs> Uh, anywho, I okay, digress. so what do you think of that beer? I think this beer is pretty damn good, man. Really? Like, maybe I'm just in a good mood because this is my first beer of Halloween. But, people, but I, you know, it is a pumpkin beer. Yeah, so that's, people diss those. What is with that? Well, you people know? hating on pumpkin beers? They're hating on pumpkin beers. Well, I think it's because there's pumpkin everything now. I get that, So but maybe we're talking about beer. Yeah, I've never hated on you pumpkin know, beers. I, have you tell me you're going to hate the pumpkin pie? You know, no. there's two things you can't hate. You can't hate the pumpkin beer. And you can't eat the pumpkin pie, especially if it's got homemade whipped cream on it. Well, and here's the thing, man. This one isn't over-spiced or over-pumpkin-y. It has, it's more subtle, which I think is key in a pumpkin beer. Because sometimes I agree. there's pumpkin stuff, and they'll spice it, and they'll just beat you the head over with it. And, it, and it'll, get, it'll be hard to finish it. It'll be hard to finish even just one beer because it's just too much. This one, not so much, man. It's, it's good. It's definitely there. The pumpkin's there. It's subtle enough, though, that this is a drinkable one. And at five percent, it could be a Halloween session without a doubt. There you go. So I'm going to say for the uh, Autumn Blaze, Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. I think you did a pretty damn good job with your pumpkin ale. I'd say it's a. I think it's a solid four. There you go. I, get, you, I do get a little help. I'm going to throw a little plug in here. I do get a little help with the beer from the folks at the Vintage Cellar. All right. Because I'll go in there and they'll say, "What's what's the story? What's and it going to be like, this week? Can you see me? It's Halloween." <laughs> yeah, so, but they, they're they very helpful and they always point me in the right direction yeah. i don't always agree with their picks but that's okay they have a pretty good selection over there too. they do B- big selection all right what so about i'm drinking this this uh vengeful spirit and i'm <laughs> it's not hurting me you know i must be on its good side mm-hmm. this is delicious beer i mean stone makes good beer anyway i'm not a huge fan i don't hate it of the stone ipa it's not my favorite i love the enjoy buys they make Mm-hmm. I love the barley wines they make. Oh Stone God. makes a lot of damn good beer. Uh, it's, the barley wines, they're one of the best in business there, no doubt about it. But this beer supposedly has pineapple and mandarin oranges. I'm not really getting that. There's a little bit of tang at the end. The color kind of leads yeah, to that. It's got a little bit of a yellow yeah. pineapple look. I'll have to take my sunglasses off. Okay. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't get any Poseidon sunglasses? Uh, Neptune, you know, Neptune sunglasses? I got to keep some, you know, people won't recognize me if I get too strange, you know. Mm. You gotta, I have certain things. Fair I always enough. wear sunglasses, Fair enough. even at night. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to give this beer a 425. This is a good beer, new beer. The, I love the coloration and the gargoyle on it, the purple. and the, It's very the Halloween-esque. Orange. It is. It's just really nice. And the, what is it? Seven oh seven point three. Oh, you got the big boy making it a Huck session beer. There you go. So, so, so four point two five. Four point two five out of five. That's of course our untapped scores. That's how we like to rate our beers. Is the untapped app? It's free. You can download it to your mobile device, and you can be our friends. Dres drinks is my handle. Huck's beer buzz is his. I think we should play a song, maybe a Halloween ditty. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, and Monster then, Man. Oh, you want Monster what's that, Mash? What's that one? Yeah, oh, we no, can do. The, 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 never mind, I can't. Just do that. Monster Mash. Monster Mash. All we right, we'll, we'll do Monster Mash, and then we'll come back and we'll drink more beer. Uh, Halloween edition of Bruise Day Tuesday. More after this. Stick around.